Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase me immediately. You're going to need it. We are we are on page number ninety-two. Page number 92 and today is our lesson number 147. Today we're going to talk about the concept of length of an arc. Length of an arc. For example, if we're given a circle here, there is our circle, there is a center, and we are told that these two lines, these two lines make a 90 degree angle. We are told, well once you put something like this, you don't have to put 90 degrees, but I'm going to put it anywhere, 90 degree angles. And the question is, what is the distance from point A to point B? What is this distance? That's what we are trying to figure out. In order for us to know that distance, in order for us to figure out that distance, we have to know the radius of the circle. We, we must know the radius. So the radius will be given to you. So here's the circle. We are told that we have a circle with radius of, with radius of 8 meter. What is the length of this arc? What is the length of arc AB? Now, it doesn't have to be written out like this, arc AB. Listen carefully, sometimes it is represented like this, with a, with, with a curvature around it, no, arc AB. This is segment AB, this is called segment AB. A straight distance from here to here would be AB. But if since it has a curvature to it, we put a curve around it and it is read as, this thing is read as, with the curve around on the top is read as arc AB. Because it makes an arc. What is this distance? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. What is the distance? What is the length of arc AB? We have given the radius. We know the radius is 8 meters, so we can put that here. It is 8 meters. We also know, we also know that the distance across the entire circle, distance across the entire circle, we learned yesterday on day number 146, we learned that the distance across the entire circle, the perimeter of the circle, is called the circumference, which we know is 2 times pi times r. We have to understand is that the whole, this is the whole circle, this is the distance around the entire circle. But the whole circle, whole circle, whole circle, is made up of 360 degrees. You see, if you were to continue this thing like this, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360 degrees. That's the whole circle. We want the distance from here to here, A to B. We can clearly see from this picture now that we put it like this, we can clearly see the distance from A to B, the arc AB, must be whatever the distance into around the whole circle is, divided by 4, is the quarter of the circle. 90 degree makes a quarter of a circle. So if we know the circumference, we can take one quarter of it. We can take one quarter of it, and that's your, that's your answer, that's the length of the arc. Question is, how do we arrive at this quarter? Well, it's very simple. This is what we need to do. We could simply take this quantity and multiply it by a quarter and say that this, instead of circumference now is the length of the arc AB. We could do that. Or instead of a quarter like this, because not, not every time you can just look at it and figure out it's a quarter. Sometimes it's a weird number. So what we do is we put down the degrees that, we, that, that is given to us, 90 degrees right here. What is the length of the arc AB? This 90 degrees. And we divide that by 360 degrees, which is made up of whole circle. Now you will see that if you divide top and bottom by if you divide top and bottom by 10, zeros are going to cancel out. We are left at 9 and 36. Divide top and bottom by 9, 9 for the 36, 9 goes away, and 36 becomes a 4. See 1 quarter, 1 over 4. So the answer is the length of arc AB is 1 quarter of the circumference. So we have 2, 1 quarter of the circumference, which is 2 times pi times r, which we are told is 8 meters. We see, oh, this is this is actually, we see 4 at the bottom, we see 8 at the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. 
this 4 is going to go away and the 8 is going to become 2. And we're left with 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Let's put this other 4 on the side here so it doesn't confuse us. This 4 came from dividing top and bottom by 9. So there you go. 2 times 2 is 4. So the final answer is the length of the arc is 4 pi meters. How many meters? The length is 4 pi meters. You can leave it like this or we can say that it's approximately approximately 12 meters. Why 12 meters? Because pi is 3.14 3.14 something something we can approximate pi is 3. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. About, about 12 meters or if you like we can go one step further. 4 times 3.14 figure out what this quantity is and put down meters next to the units. Again, we cannot say equals to. This is wrong. This part is correct. This this quantity, arc AB, is equal to one quarter of the whole circumference, which is equal to four times pi meters. But as soon as we replace pi with an numerical value, we can no longer put an equal sign. We have to say approximately equal to. Similarly here, pi is not exactly equal to 3.14. Pi is approximately equal to 3.14. This is wrong. We have to say it is approximately equal to 4 times 3.14 meters. That's all. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. This time we are given a different circle and the circle looks something like this. Circle looks something like this. There is a circle that is given to us. Let's draw a better one. This circle is not very healthy. We are told that this arc is 30 degrees. The question is what is the distance from P to Q? What's the length of the arc PQ? Well, let's find out, shall we? Are you able to see, by the way, that 30, 30 is what proportion of 360? Are you able to see right away that 30 is a sixth of 360? Sixth of 360. Or is it twelfth of 360? 360. We'll find out in a second. It's a sixth. No. It's a twelfth of 360. 30 is a twelfth of 360. How do I know it? Because 12 times 3 is 36. But we don't have 36. We have 360 degrees. We have 360 degrees. This is 30 degrees. So we need to multiply by 12. A 30, 30 degree angle is a twelfth of the whole circle. But if you don't see it, then we do it out like this. Just like we did before. So here we go. Now let's see how does the book say. The book puts this degree part in the front. It makes no difference. You can put it in the front or you can put it at the end. It makes no difference. So here, P to Q, the R P Q is going to be equal to 2 times pi times R times we have 30 degrees over 360 degrees. And you will see that this will come out to be 1 12th. Let's do it out. Divide top and bottom by 10. 0 is going to go away. Zeros are going to drop out. Let me put the cap back on on the black one before it dries. Then what do we do? Let's divide top and bottom by 3. If we divide top and bottom by 3, 3 divided by 3 is just 1. And 36 divided by 3, 3 has 1 3 and 6 has 2 3's. 36 divided by 3 is 12. So it's one twelfth of this quantity. It is one twelfth of the circumference. You can say that the length of this segment, the length of this r p to q, is a twelfth of the entire distance around the circle. This r, the length of this r p q, is one twelfth the length of its circumference. Whatever the circumference is of this circle, you take a twelfth of that, and that will be the length of r p q. 30 degree represents only a twelfth of 360 degrees. So that's it. Let's put in the values. 2 times pi times r. What was the r? r was never given to us. This is from the old one. r we are told is 6 inches. And here we have to say pq. 6 inches. Well that's very helpful. 6 inches. We have to put the, we have to put the units otherwise it's going to cause confusion. 6 inches. And this is going to be 112. This is, I'm going to erase this part because otherwise it gets too crowded. 
this is 0.12. We just figured out, we just figured out the 30 degree divided by 360 degrees is 112. How do we figure it out? Because we divide top and bottom by 10. If we divide top and bottom by 10, the 0 goes away. And then we divide top and bottom by 3, 3 goes away, becomes a 1. 3 has 1, 3, and 6 has 2, 3. So it's 1, 12, 1, 12, which is what this is. Let's, let's do our work. Oh, this is very simple. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 goes away. Divide top and bottom by 6. 6 is going to go away, and 12 is going to become 2. And then divide top and bottom by 2. 2 is going to cancel away with this 2. That's it. So what is the, what is the length of this? What is the length of this arc? The length of this arc is pi pi inches pi inches pi inches or you can say approximately approximately 3 inches or if you like approximately 3.14 inches whether you put down 3.14 whether you take the trouble of writing down the two, two, two decimal places 3.14 inches or whether you just become lazy and just say 3 inches either way we have to say this approximately because neither of these our exact value of pi. Exact value of pi is 3.1416 and it goes on forever and ever. It never ends. It's an irrational number. Nobody on the planet knows the value of pi. Nobody ever will. Do you understand? Because it will go on forever and ever. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. This time we have a circle. Then we are told that the radius is 9 cm. And the question is, what is the length of the arc xy? Here is our circle. Here is the circle, and here is the point X, here is the point Y, and we are told that this is 60 degrees. Well, 60 degrees is the sixth of a circle. 60 is sixth of a circle. How do we know that? Because 6 times 60 is 360, because 6, 6 is 36. The whole circle is made up of 360 degrees, so 60 degrees times 6 will be 360. So 6 of a circle. In other words, the length of this R, length of this R is going to be the 6th of its circumference. Let's do it at the bottom here. Actually, let's do it on the top. So we have AB, we did first one, the PQ, and now the XY. So what is our X, arc XY? R, not, not a segment, is equal to 2 times pi times R times 60 degree divided by 360 degrees. Let's do it out, see what we get. We divide top and bottom by 0, or top and bottom by 10 rather, zeros are going to drop out and so is the degree, the units are going to cancel out, you understand? The top has a un degree, unit of degree. If instead of writing this this uh, this symbol here, we could have put down degrees here and degrees here, and the units would have cancelled out, which is exactly what we did just now. Divide top and bottom by three. If you divide top and bottom by three, six six divided by three is two, and if you divide bottom by three, three 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 has one three, six has two threes. We still have two on the top. We have twelve on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by two, and two goes away, and twelve is going to become six. You see, one. Sixth, which is what we said, this is one sixth. Now I'm going to erase this thing because we need the room, otherwise, it's going to get too crowded. So 60 divided by 360 is one sixth. I'm going to replace that there. In other words, the length of the arc is a sixth of the circumference. That's the circumference. 2 pi r is the whole circumference. We take a sixth of that, and that'll be the, that'll be the length of the arc that we are being asked to, to, to figure out the length of the arc xy. All we have to do is substitute the value of the radius. 2 times pi times r. What was the radius we were told? We were told the radius is 9 cm. In this case we are told that the radius is 9 cm. 2 times pi times r which is 9 cm. Always put your units times the sixth. Don't forget the sixth. Now we do our simplification. Now we do our simplification. I'm going to write this sixth a little bit smaller so it stays there by itself. And it doesn't come down because we don't want to get confused. That 6 comes from there. So, I see a 6 here at the bottom. I see a 9 at the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. If we divide top and bottom by 3, 9 will become 3. And 6 becomes 2. 
we say 2 on the bottom, we say 2 on the top, let's divide top and bottom by 2, and we end up with pi times 3. In other words, the length of the arc xy is simply 3 pi centimeter. 3 pi centimeter. 3 pi centimeter, which is approximately equal to, which is approximately equal to, you can say, 9 centimeter, or if you like, it is approximately equal to 9 times 3.14, whatever that happens to be, centimeter. That's going to be a little bit more precise. This is this is this is a very rough approximation. This is still an approximation, but this approximation is a little bit more refined than this one, around 27 centimeters. That's it. We are done. So that top one was our problem number three. This one was problem number one, and this was problem number two. Tomorrow we'll talk about the area of a circle. First day, or day number 146, yesterday rather, yesterday when we started the basic geometry. Oh, by the way, if you do want to learn basic concepts of geometry, if you do want to learn very basic concepts of geometry, there is a series of geometry videos on my, on my, on my channel. Just type in basic geometry, day one, and watch that video. There are 30 of them, day one through 30. I'm not suggesting that you sit there and watch all 30 of them. You don't need all 30 of them. Watch, but watch until as far as you can go without having your pants fall off due to boredom. If I bore the pants off you, that's the cue, that's your cue to stop the bloody thing. Do you understand? So watch as many as you can. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.